And this is the date and time set for hearing on Ms. Roach's motion regarding custody. It was originally set for Monday, but the uh, Metasta County Jail um, doesn't have availability for Zoom hearings on Monday. And uh, I reset it for uh, today. And uh, both parties are now here, so we'll proceed. Um, both raise your right hands. You both swear or affirm any testimony given this cause would be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help you, God. Yes. Yes, Your Honor. All right. Uh, so, ma'am, you filed this motion regarding custody. Why don't you explain to me uh, what led you to file the motion, what you're requesting today, and why? Um, I am requesting, at the very least, full physical custody, if not both, <laughs> uh, physical and legal, because of uh, Joseph's. Uh, charges regarding the thing, the case he's not even been arraigned on. So I guess technically, I don't know if I can call him those. Um, but as I stated in my letter, uh, the, between the charges that he's received and the things that my daughter has been telling me and multiple other family members, I do not think that she's safe in his company. That's it. I feel she would be she would be well, better taken care of with me for the time being. Things change right. down the line, sure. But um, as of this point in time, I feel it is in her best interest to uh, have me have full legal and full physical custody. At the very least, full physical, but both, if possible. All right. So you said the things she said and the charges he has. That doesn't tell me much. What's What's going on? Um, I guess I didn't know if I could really talk about the things that she said because it's all hearsay. It's not like I have proof of it. It's, it's words out of a almost 10 year old mouth. But, um, you know, uh, shoot, I've had her, I've had her full time with very few exceptions since December 28th, 2021, when she called me to tell me that she had pretty much been eating what she could grab because her dad had been sleeping since he picked her up on Sunday at two o'clock. Um, this was a Tuesday, mind you. Uh, she had gone two full days where he was just sleeping. Um, when I sent my father to go get her, he talked about the state of the house, which was a disaster. I've had multiple people tell me about how there would be people, just random strangers sleeping there. She's told me about how, you know, he'd always have random people there. And um, her exact words were, I hate when his friends are over because they keep me up all night. But at least when they're there, I get to eat different food besides shells and cheese and instant pancakes. Um, I, I, I've always tried to give him the benefit of the doubt and try to work with him and let him have time to get better so that we can go back to the 50, 50 thing. But every time it just gets worse and worse. Um, in fact, the other day, another thing my daughter told me almost verbatim is he lost you, he lost his dad, and then he lost Paige, and he never came back. This uh, A girlfriend of his that he dated for many years. A woman he moved in to his home to take care of my daughter for him because he couldn't. Um, he attempted to get me to quit my job once. He offered to pay me my salary for my job to come out to his house every other week and cook and clean and take care of our daughter for him because he couldn't do it. And now he's in jail <laughs> for a lot of messed up stuff. Um, I'm no saint, not a perfect parent at all. I won't sit here and tell you I am, but she's broken my heart telling me about what she's lived like with him. And it, I'm sorry, I'm really trying not to get emotional. Um, I really do think it's in her best interest, sir, to just, at the, especially at this point, what am I going to do? Take her to the McHouse County Jail for her visitation, you know? Um, I went out there once to go check on him because unlike Joseph, he's never ever been one to be late for pickup, drop off, whatever. Sorry, I don't mean to keep covering my face. Um, I went out there to go pick, to go do basically a well check on him once because he was like hours late for pickup. And I get there and the front door's locked. I'm pounding on the door at this point, bawling because I'm convinced I'm going to find him dead. 
And he proceeded to come stomping out of the house, screaming at me. Stomp back in. I follow him around the back of the house. I go in the back door. The house is just a disaster. He's laying in bed again. But he's literally already back in bed. And I told him, I thought you were dead. Like, I, dude, I literally thought you were dead. I came out here convinced I was going to find a dead body. And he screamed in my face in a way I've never heard him talk to anyone and threw me out of his house, called me all kinds of names. And then still took another two hours to come. Like I, I knew legally I would have to let him take her if he showed up. And he showed up two hours later. Like nothing had happened. And I just, I'm just such a, a mean person for checking on him because I was convinced he was dead. He's not Joseph anymore. He's not the man that I had a child with anymore. All right. And I feel something changes. I just, I feel she's safest with me. So ma'am, you've had the child in your care exclusively for over a year, you said, since December. Um, well, I got her on December 28th, 2021. She went back with him for a few days and then asked to come back with me. She stayed with me until... Oh, there was one week in like, I, I apologize. The dates are a little bit, uh, it was either like June or July. Um, she went back for a little bit of time doing the 50, 50. But again, at that point I felt she wasn't safe. I tried to just talk to Joseph. I didn't want to involve the courts if I didn't have to. So I talked to Joseph. We sat out in my backyard and I talked to him about how I felt she was best off with me for the time being until he gets better. His exact words were, if I don't have my stuff together by the beginning of the school year, then you know what? Yep. You're right. You should keep her. The beginning of the school year rolled around. It was a few weeks later that he asked if we could go back to 50, 50. And that was, uh, we, I don't know, it was a month and a half maybe. And then that's when he got arrested. Um, and I've had her exclusively obviously since, uh, that was on December 5th. I received a call from someone saying, Joe, you're going to need to pick your daughter up from school. And I didn't know what was going on until later on that day. But I had her aunt bring her to me. Uh, Joseph's sister-in-law brought her to me. And that was when she explained to me what she had been told. And she had. I've, I've had her since I've had her since December 5th, 2022. And, uh, prior to that, yes, for about a year, I had her most of the year, maybe about two months at a time. Uh, we right. just, so, uh, since on. the beginning of the school year, at the beginning of the school year, did you, uh, go back to the 50, 50 or it was, a li I think it was a, a couple of weeks after maybe, but it, it was the right around year. there. Sir, I'll give you a chance. Sir, I'll, sir, I'll give you a chance to speak. Okay. Her motion. I'm going to start here, and then I'll give you a chance to respond. So just to yes, sir. So a couple of weeks of the school year, you did 50-50, but for the most part, you had her the full time. Uh, yes, I, like I said, to I to the best of my knowledge, I'm not sure exactly on the dates um, on that one. I'm, I'm I apologize. I'm not. Um, but I do think I had her. Maybe it was maybe it was the beginning of the school year. Maybe I had her for like a week or two, and then he started taking her 50-50 again. I, I I'm not sure. I do know it was into the school year because he had discussed that she would be riding the bus. So I, I know it was in the school year, but um, uh, uh, yeah, there, there wasn't very long. And then he got arrested. All right. You both still live in Big Rapids? Uh, yes. Yes, all right. sir. All right. Uh, sir, what's your response to all this? All right. So uh, the, a lot of this is hearsay, but I will agree that Come January, I was not in a good spot, and me and her mom had sat down, and we had a discussion, and I had let her mom keep Delia full-time until the beginning of the school year when I had my shit together. I had gotten a car, I got in a new place, and I've had Delia week on, week off since the beginning of the school year, since the start, August 6th, August, September, October, November, December is when I got arrested, beginning of December. Uh... Obviously, I'm in jail, so obviously I can't exercise my parenting time. As far as the charges go, I'm innocent until proven guilty. I can't, I'm not out because of the outrageous bond they set me. But at the end of the day, when it comes down to my settlement hearing, a lot of these charges are going to be dropped because they're just, they're outlandish. Uh, I won't deny that I haven't been in the best spot for a while. Thus, why as a, as a, as a responsible parent, I let her mom take custody of her and hold that custody. Because I was, I'm, I'm still in the state of mind to make the best decisions for the well-being of my daughter. That broke my heart. It did. It killed me. 
but I still did what I needed to do for my daughter at that time, which was relinquish custody to her mother. Uh, obviously, when I get out of here, there's going to be probation, so that will keep me on the straight and narrow. I don't deny that. Obviously, I'm sitting in here, so physical custody is something that I just can't exercise. Uh, and I ask, if anything, that when I get out of here, that if we can, if we can start working on the track for me to get my full custody or my 50-50 back, if we could settle for Wednesdays, every Wednesday and every other weekend, when I get out and work towards and take the steps I need to to get my 50-50 physical custody back, I feel there's no reason to take legal custody from me, from me at this time because I feel that I pres presented state of mind even when I wasn't in the greatest state to make the best, the best decisions for the daughter, for the well-being of my daughter. Uh, shortly before I came in here, uh, CPS had done a home well-being check on my house. Melanie Stappen is her name out of Big Rapids. Uh, her report specifically states how Delia did not feel safe at her mother's house. That is in a report, word for word, on a, on a piece of paper from a CPS investigator. Uh, Melanie Staffen out of Big Rapids. Uh, I do not feel that is fully the case because of the reasons she stated were kind of out there but nonetheless she stated that no i don't i don't deny that at one time i was not in the best position for my daughter that's why i did relinquish custody for her but now moving into big rapids i've got me a new place i've got me i've i've straightened my situation out uh unfortunately here i am sitting in jail and there's nothing i can do about that at the time being uh at least for another two weeks it looks like uh, but I ask that if we could come to the mutual agreement that when I get out of here, that I may have every Wednesday from the time she gets out of school until she goes back to school tomorrow, Thursday morning and every other weekend. And I'll take the appropriate steps to move forward and get my full 50 50 back. Uh, I guess that's all I have to say, Your Honor. So uh, what, what charges are you facing right now? Don't make any admissions. Just tell me what they've charged you with. Uh, possession. So what they've charged me with is possession with intent, uh, two charges of that, uh, maintaining a drug house and an arson charge. Drug house isn't even my house. They're trying to charge me with the, the delivery charges are outlandish. The possession charges, you got me. Like I fell in the truck. I, 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 I don't want you to make any admissions because they'll use that against you in your, in your trial. I just want you to tell me what the charges are. Those are the charges, Your Honor. So possession with intent to deliver what? Two counts of possession with intent to deliver, two counts of possession, and a uh, count of maintaining and a count of arson. Right, but deliver what drug? Oh, methamphetamines, Your Honor. Okay. All right. And arson. Okay. Um, so you're not contesting physical custody at this point. You are contesting legal custody, and you want a parenting time schedule set up for when you're released? Is that what you're telling me? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Um, so, uh, physical custody is, uh, is where the child uh, stays the majority of the time. So I guess that's not in uh, dispute. Legal custody is the right to have input into major decisions. How would you anticipate being able to be, uh, meaningfully involved in major decisions regarding education and, and medical care, <laughs> things like that? If you... <laughs> okay. Man, man, this isn't fine. Um, no, how, would you, right, how would you plan to be involved in that if, uh, if you're lodged you couldn't go to appointments you wouldn't really be able to i don't think honor, about I'm school, only, I either zoom in like i do i don't know how you would be involved in those decisions your honor i'm, I'm only in custody i'm innocent until proven guilty so i get that i, I get that but so, you're not able you're not free right now is the point because i haven't i haven't had my bond reduction yet as far as as far as huge decisions, her schooling's been set for the year. There's no other major decisions that need to come up this time. Uh, me and Samantha have the same agreement or same views on most most medical issues, so there's no issues there. Uh, I don't feel I feel that taking my legal custody at this time is only going to make everything harder for me in the future. As a responsible parent, I have made all legal decisions for the best interest of my daughter. Like I said, what well, it killed me. It killed me to let Samantha take my daughter. And I did it, though, because it was the best thing for her to do. All right. So when's your next hearing uh, coming up in your criminal case? 
Uh, Your Honor, uh, I haven't spoken with my lawyer yet. Uh, he said early March, I think March 13th, uh, which is a settlement hearing, which is at that time, they anticipate me getting out, uh, anticipate me taking uh, taking some time served and uh, some felony probation. Uh, so with that, my felony probation will obviously have weekly check-ins or every other week check-ins for drugs and other substances. So, uh, in a month, Your Honor. So, okay. So, uh, in your motion, ma'am, you said he had not been arraigned or wasn't going to be arraigned until February 23rd. If he knows what he's charged with, he's probably been arraigned. They wouldn't keep him. That's what they have to be arraigned me. within a certain amount of time of arrest. Uh, that's what the court told me. I flat out called the jail. They said he has not been arraigned yet. He will be arraigned on the 23rd. Hmm. All right. So I guess that's a little bit up in the air. I don't, I've been arraigned on everything, Your Honor. My next uh, Monday was my pre pre trial conference. the The March thirteenth is my settlement hearing. My settlement hearing is the settlement hearing, which uh, you know is this is what you're taking. This is what we're giving you. Guilty, not guilty. That's what the next hearing is. So I've been arraigned for everything as, up to this point, uh, unless yeah, they're the playing. I apologize. Unless they're coming out with some new charges, which I've been in here for three months now, so I doubt that because there's nothing else to charge me with. Uh, so I don't know what that is she speaks of, but come March 13th, I'm going to be out of here. Uh, because your bond will be reduced. No, because I will be taking a settle. I will, that's when we'll enter my plea deal. That's when we'll enter the and the the plea deal as it stands right now is to drop all these charges and take possession, Maybe possession, plead to possession, and just plead to possession. And with that possession, I'll be put on felony probation, which will have me going and which will keep me on the path and have me going to the the treatment I need to be going to and doing the things I need to go to to get better. And they're just going to give you three months of time, sir. Well, no, they're going to give, it's going to be four months by then. It's going to be four months for uh, possession. And they're going to give me three years of probation. It sounds like. So all of, all or most of December, all of January, all of February and half of March. Yeah, three January, three February, and March. Three, three, to, three and a half months. Three months and a few days. All right. Well. Plus good time. Plus good time will put me at four months of time served. Okay. So that's a uh, plea deal. Written, written down, agreed to by the prosecutor and your attorney. That is, that is where we're at right now. Yes. Okay. And your hearing is actually on the thirteenth. Yes, I spoke with the secretary briefly this morning. She said my settlement hearing was on the thirteenth. I'm supposed to get paperwork for all that here. They, she said it would all be sent over today for me. Last I spoke with my lawyer, the plea agreement was to drop everything and possession charges. As far as the whole like set in stone probation and time served, that is not set in stone yet. But from what we discussed, that is that is the route he's pushing for and what we're trying to push for. Is oh, I've been in here for pushing for it. Okay. That's different than having an agreement but placed on the record with the, your, the agreement. The agreement is the agreement is to take the take the possessions. But my guidelines are my guidelines are not high. They're only zero. They're zero to seventeen. Uh, he's already guaranteed me no prison time, which would put me at most at worst case scenario. It put me in. It would put me at ten months, which would be eight eight months with good time. Uh, which uh, that I I do not envision that, and he does not envision that. I haven't had the chance to speak with my lawyer directly yet. Uh, Monday, Monday is when they they discuss this, and I haven't I haven't been able to speak with him. I'm I only get an hour of phone time in the morning, uh, and it's from seven to nine or seven to eight. My lawyer's is open till nine. Uh, I was nice enough today to one of the guards let me out long enough to try to call my lawyer, and I was able to reach through the secretary. Your lawyer, Duvall. All right, all right. Uh, at this time, the parties appear to be in agreement that the uh, defendant, Ms. Roach, should be granted an order of uh, sole physical custody. Uh, I'll maintain uh, joint legal custody at this time, although Ms. Roach would be uh, would have the decision making authority at this point regarding any important decisions regarding the child. However, ma'am, I'll have you keep Mr. 
grew anger informed of any decisions that are made or any ongoing education have- or, or medical issues. Um, one- hold on, just let me finish. Parenting time um, will be reserved. Uh, I'll reset this for a review hearing to see if, in fact, you're released. On Mar- we'll uh, hold a review hearing on March 16th at 9 a.m. Uh, same Zoom number. Sir, if you're still lodged, um, I guess show them a copy of the order that you've got a Zoom hearing on Thursday morning in four weeks at 9 a.m. If you're not, then you're free to either show up or do Zoom from uh, wherever you want, as long as you have a good connection. But uh, based on uh, both parties' testimony, there'd be a reasonable resolution to the uh, to the motion at this time. I have one question, Your Honor. What's that? Uh, so when this whole when this was set, this court date was set. Uh, I never got a notice to this, and I'm pretty sure that when any of this is set, they're supposed to send a notice out to me. Why? Why? Why was I never received that notice? Uh, notice, notice is required notices. to go to your last known address, and uh, yes. which my last known address all comes to my house, and everything to my last known address is forwarded to my house. I got my child I support everything to the jail. I literally listed your address and your phone number as the jail. So if you didn't get it, it's on them. I have the receipt for when I mailed it. I have the confirmation can I, numbers. Actually, can I, can, I have it, can I have that date, please, Samantha? From when you mailed yeah, that to it? Yeah, it was jail. February 1st. It was the day after my birthday. So the jail's not letting me get legal mail either. Thank you. All right. So uh, I sent that out. This Thank you. To mom, joint legal, uh, kind of, kind of a hybrid joint legal. She can make all the decisions at this time, but has to keep you informed. Uh, there's going to be no parenting time ordered at this time, but we'll take a look at that at a review hearing on March 16th at 9 a.m. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. Anything else for today? No, Your yes, Honor. Sir, I'll deal with all this on the 16th. What else did you want to deal with? Uh, just the things that he said. I'm sorry. I guess I... Uh, your own place that he was staying in somebody's couch those people have called me to tell me that they were taking care of her for him um after he relinquished custody after i nagged him into letting me have her whether or not he's granted, or seven, she's yeah. still not safe he's yeah, talking granted, about he was putting bullets in the floor to warn people yeah, my I, granted you, there? I granted you physical custody in her report, in the, the CPS person's report, they called me to tell me this is literally a technicality. We have to let you know that there was a CPS report made in his residence. Her education, he wants to say in her education. Last year, I got called by the school to get told that she had missed 17 straight days of his weeks. They even said, we know it's not you because she's coming to school on your weeks. But on his weeks, she's not. And when I brought it up to him, he literally blew me off. It was like, ah, she'll get there if she gets there. He doesn't care about any of this. All right, ma'am, I, I granted your motion. I don't know what else you want me to do. I granted you soul physical. No, I, you're right. You're correct. I'm sorry. I guess I just wanted my chance to say that stuff back. Like, oh. like, like, really? You're her education? He doesn't care. It's false. All right. Well, uh, I'll see you guys on the 16th. Right uh, custody is determined. I'll see you guys on the 16th to determine if, uh, if uh, parenting time would be.